<laughs> How's it going everyone? Uh, Merry Christmas! As you can see by my uh, jolly hat. Everyone's probably going to be doing like a nice Christmas chill video where they talk about, you know, all the good things that's happened. But no, on Christmas Day you're going to watch me suffer. You're going to watch me torture myself. Uh, because today, like last year, uh, I'm doing 12 wards of Christmas. I like to call it 12 wards of hell. Um, it's, if you've watched this video before, you would know from the last workout how horrendous it is. Hopefully this time I did it in the right order because I did it the wrong way the other time. Uh, so yeah, it's 12 different exercises, uh, counting down from 12 to one. It will make sense when I start the workout. Um, this one looks horrendous. I wrote it myself and I've been going, been warming up and I already feel like this is gonna hurt. But uh, yeah, so that's gonna be the video. So we're gonna do some training and uh, we'll have a nice chat at the end. Hopefully you enjoy it. And yes, I am doing the entire video in my nice woolly hat, which is going to be ridiculously warm by the time I'm done. But yeah, it's all in the Christmas spirit. So I hope you enjoy me suffer.
Uh, yeah, that was horrible. Uh, <laughs> oh, this workout always, always kills me. And you think how many times you do crossfit workouts. Even though I said it sucks so much, you still love it. This was one of them. That's why I said crossfit sucks. Because the workout sucks. But at the end, you love it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm smiling, even though I'm in agony. But it's just so, con it's just the serotonin levels afterwards, you just feel so good. So uh, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much why I think CrossFit sucks. So a lot of you would know why I'm saying this. You would get the hint if you watch the other video. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, I, I don't even know what to say, I'm exhausted. I, I'm gonna change, get some food down, and, uh, and then uh, we'll shower have a more meaningful conversation. <laughs> wow, that was a, a hard, horrendous session. Um, most of you crossfitters who have done that before, you wouldn't know how much it sucks. So it's like a tradition to do it every Christmas. Um, well, not Christmas, but every, well, around Christmas time. Uh, yeah, so if you want to give that a try, we could come up with your own version, uh, do it, but, uh, it, it, it's going to suck. So yeah, uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, I just kind of wanted to say a big thank you to every single one of you for your support. Um, this entire year has been incredible. Um, honestly, a lot of the things that I've accomplished this year has been unbelievable. And it's all down to you guys that watch my videos. It's all down to you that like my videos and comment. Every single one of that helps me. Um, I hate the word influencer. I just feel like I have a great support system and I wouldn't be where I am without the support of you guys. And I love doing what I do. I love putting out the content and I love that you guys enjoy it and show appreciation. So again, a huge thank you. So in terms of Christmas, and I know a lot of you are worried about your diet and stuff and you want to know how you can stick to your diet and stay on track. Um, I want to let you in on a secret. Calories don't actually count from Christmas day to January 1st. Like this is something no one talks about. It's, I swear to you, it's like nobody wants to tell you because us in fit influencers want to hide the truth from you. Calories don't count from December 25th to January 1st. So, um, like go wild. Like what I tend to do on Christmas Day is I wake up, have a box of celebrations because I love celebration chocolates in bed. I make sure that all my snacks are around my bed so I don't have to actually get up because that saves energy. And um, and I don't know how much calories that, that is because again, remember calories don't count during Christmas. And, uh, and then I tend to have some ice cream mid morning and then I'll have more food um, in the afternoon, uh, more ice cream, more chocolate, I try and make sure I keep track of my diet by not having the whole box of chocolate, so maybe have half because um, that will save on um, some calories, even though they don't count. But you know, just you want to make sure that you don't overindulge. So I usually have three tubs of different ice cream. I love Ben and Jerry, so I tend to have one tub in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. Again, just to be conservative and make sure that I'm not overindulging. And then Christmas dinner is the same thing. Um, I tend to Break, spread them out throughout the day. So again, I'm, I'm saving on calories. So in terms of training, I, I train four times a day, four times on Christmas day, so in the morning, um, mid morning, uh, late afternoon, late evening. Uh, and pretty much what I tend to do for that is when I have to get up from the bed or from the sofa to go get some food, I count that into my, um, uh, as my training because, you know, counting my steps. So I do that about four times because that adds to, you know, my um, uh, steps for the day and that adds to my training. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much how Christmas day goes for me. And um, yeah, it's been working great every single year I've been doing it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now. Uh, right, so um, Christmas day, please enjoy yourself. This holiday is for, your, is for you and your family to be together. Enjoy, it doesn't matter if you don't celebrate it. Chill out, enjoy it. <sighs> Don't worry about your diet. For the love of God, don't worry about your diet. It's it's not the end of the world. These are times that we get to spend with our family. Some of us are not even lucky enough to spend with our family. I'm not. So try and enjoy your family. Try and enjoy being around your family or your friends. Um, forget about your diet. 
for the you know if you need to chill out on the training that's absolutely fine if you train during christmas day well done good for you that's awesome i don't i actually i have like two three days off stop worrying about it uh like i said life's too short having abs is great but you need to live um it's not the end of the world if you don't have a six pack it's not the end of the world if you overindulge um it's life you know we need to enjoy it i i used to stress over this years ago um now having abs is not everything i would ha rather have happiness than having a six pack and that's just fact so um enjoy it it can be quite lonely around this time for people like myself who don't have our family around um you know spend it with your friends but i love my own company so um Christmas Day, I love putting on classic movies. I have loads of food. I wasn't joking about the chocolate and the ice cream. I, seriously, I, this is what I do every Christmas. So enjoy it. You know, life's too short, like I said. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because I know a lot of people worry about Christmas Day when it comes to dieting, when it comes to training. It's such a small amount of time for the whole year. Um, try and chill out. This is your perfect time to chill and just enjoy um, your family and enjoy yourself and just have some downtime. Don't stress over stupid things. Again, life's too short for that. Uh, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. That's kind of like my queen speech almost. I um, uh, hope you're all having a great, great, great Christmas or great holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, thank you all so much for your support. It has been a blessing and I appreciate every single one of you so much. Um, there's so much I want to say, but I don't want to ramble on because I tend to ramble on. I'm not really one to give motivational um, chats because uh, my life's a mess too. So <laughs> you know how some people read uh, a self-help book and then they start quoting every single thing from that book and all of a sudden they become, you know, a motivational speaker. Yeah, that's that's not what you're, that's not what I'm going to be doing. I'm, I'm going to keep a hundred of you guys. So yeah. But anyway, to finish off this long rambling. Uh, I'm going to leave you with one of my favorite songs that I remember it's not even a song but you 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 get it at the end um I remember it came on I, it was MTV years ago this show my age was like in the 90s and I was kind of going through a rough time then and I wasn't really happy and actually I remember this was probably one of the songs that made me really emotional and it's all about sunscreen and some of you probably already guessed what this is going to be about now and it sounds weird and you're thinking what sunscreen i'll never forget this um track when it came on the first time i heard it so i'm going to leave you now with this track please make sure you listen to it because i know some of you might need to hear this watch it till the end and pay careful attention and listen to it and have a great christmas ladies and gentlemen of the class of 99 where Sunscreen. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. The long-term benefits of sunscreen have been proved by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until they fade faded. But trust me, in 20 years, you look back at photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You are not as fat as you imagine. Don't worry about the future or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindsides you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Sing. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. 
Remember compliments you receive. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old love letters. Throw away your old bank statements. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. Get plenty of calcium. Be kind to your knees. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll marry. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much. Or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. Get to know your parents. You never know when they'll be gone for good. Be nice to your siblings. They're your best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand that friends come and go, but with a precious few, you should hold on. Work hard to bridge the gaps in geography and lifestyle, because the older you get, the more you need the people you knew when you were young. Live in New York City once, but leave before it makes you hard. Live in Northern California once, but leave before it makes you soft. Travel. Accept certain inalienable truths. Prices will rise, politicians will philander, you too will get old. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, prices were reasonable, politicians were noble, and children respected their elders. Respect your elders. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you have a trust fund. Maybe you'll have a wealthy spouse. But you never know when either one might run out. Don't mess too much with your hair, or by the time you're 40, it will look 85. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be patient with those who supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia. Dispensing it is a way of fishing the past from the disposal, wiping it off, painting over the ugly parts, and recycling it for more than it's worth. But trust me, on the sunscreen. 